We're gonna start ourselves down on our mats. Let's get connected to the earth as quick as possible so we can give back a little bit, a little thanks, a little honor to the goddess. So as you come down on your mats, coming into your easy seated posture. If this isn't easy for you, then simply find some way to make this comfortable. So sometimes people like to spread their legs out. You can come down to your savasana or laying down on your back, finding a prop or something. If you put a blanket maybe underneath your sit bones, wherever you are, just ground yourself down Maybe pull some of that juicy flesh away. Roll the shoulders back and down the spine. That heart center naturally comes out. And we're gonna let the crown of the head lift up, reaching towards the sky as we ground down into the earth. We're just gonna start allowing the breath to roll slowly in through the nose. And exhale, let it pass out through the lips. Don't try and force anything here. Just let it flow natural as you breathe in deep through the nose. Feel that connection as you exhale back through the mouth. the hands rest gentle on the knees or maybe just on the lap. Feel comfortable in your own skin. Now gently close the eyes. Maybe sigh, release as you exhale. Allowing any unserving thoughts, energies, or feelings release out into the earth. They will recycle and be made new. Thank you, Shanti, for joining and blessing us. And I'd like to start our journey today with a beautiful written poem by Ganga White. Breathing deep the colors of the earth, let them saturate each cell of the body as you release and melt deeper. What if our religion was each other? If our practice was our life? If prayer was our word? What if the temple was the earth? If forests were our church? If holy water, the rivers, lakes, and the ocean. Take a deep breath in, melt a little deeper. What if meditation was our relationships? If the teacher was life. If wisdom was self-knowledge, what if love was the center of our being? What if today on this mat, with each inhalation, you acknowledge just how beautiful and creative and 
full of wisdom you truly are. And with each exhalation, you share that acknowledgement. And through this journey and practice today, resonating hope and giving back beauty and promise to the earth. Placing the palms of the hands together in front of the heart center. Keeping the shoulders rolling down the spines, press the palms together. Feeling the force and presence of the body. Feel the lips, begin the Ujjayi The attention and awareness to the four between the palms as they feel the intention that you draw in right now with the breath. Exhale, release through the nostrils and start bringing the palms together. Creating a little firelight. Keep the breath flowing. The rise and fall of the belly, connecting breath in and out. Fire and heat created between the palms. Your intention growing stronger and brighter. A smile curling up on the face, relaxing the muscles even more. And when you're ready to see that intention in full bright light, place the palms of the hands over the face. Feel the fire, feel the heat. Open the eyes. See the glow of your intention. Smile upon your hands as they will guide you through this practice and through your day. Take a deep breath in and exhale, sigh as you release gratitude to the earth, to your own body, to our circle today. <sighs> Let the palms come out in front of you, gaze upon them, holding that intention, and now releasing it to the earth, to our practice. Palms come back behind you, fingertips facing the sit bones. Let's roll the shoulders back, reach the gaze towards the ceiling. Seal the lips once again, draw the pelvic floor up, but keep those sit bones firmly rooted down. Three more breaths here, lifting high. Feel that firelight building in the arms. One more deep breath and exhale, release. Come back, easy seated, wrap the arms around you. Give yourself a big hug. Inhale through the center, exhale, twist to the right, gaze up and over the right shoulder. Inhale back through the center and exhale through the left shoulder. Keep the sit bones firmly planted in through the center. Inhale, reach the arms sky high, exhale, swing them back down again. Fingertips facing the sit bones, roll the shoulder blades back and down the spine. Let's bring those feet out, flat on the mat. 
So we're gonna inhale as we lift the hips and the pelvic floor up towards the ceiling. Draw the navel in. Let's inhale as we lift that right leg, point the toe to the ceiling. Exhale, drop it back down. Inhale, lift that left limb towards the ceiling, point the toes. And exhale, drop it down. Keep those hips high off the mat. Draw the navel in. Ujjayi breath, nice, slow, powerful intention. Keep those fingers flat on the mat. Feel that fire building the arms. One more breath on each side. Lift those hips. And hold here one breath. And exhale. Sit bones come down. Give yourself a nice big squeeze. Draw the knees in. <sighs> Just building a little bit of energy. Starting to feel that heat. Let's cross the ankles, right chin comes in front of the left, hands gently on the knees. Inhale, elongate the body, exhale, swing over to the left side, left hand comes down on the mat, twist and turn, gaze up and over that left shoulder. Let's steam it out, power breath here. Few more breaths. Inhale, slowly come back to center, smooth it through, and twist to the right side. Right hand comes down on the mat, twist into the right gaze. Get bones down on the mat, but seam out, twist those toxins out of your intestines. Two more breaths. Slowly guide yourself back to center. Hands come back behind you. Let's bring the knees together. Feet come back to the mat. And we're just gonna lift the hips up off the floor. Fingertips facing the heels. Draw the navel in and exhale, release. Again, inhale as you lift the body up and exhale, release. For those that want to add that little bit of spice and intention, you can actually bring the palms closer to the sit bones and lift the body up and exhale, release. For five more breaths, wherever you are, honor your edge. If you're holding here, you can cross the angles. Three more breaths. Two more breaths, and exhale, release. Let's bring that left shin in front of the right here. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. We're gonna exhale, swing those arms over to the left side, and we're gonna drop the heart center down. Now remember, keep those hip bones firmly planted on the mat. Drop the head down towards the mat. Honor your edge, Ushayi breath. Two more breaths. And on your next inhale, keep that left palm down. 
Just swing that right arm up and over. Drop it onto the other side. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale, lift that left arm sky high. Swing it over to the right side. Open up that left cage now. Root that hip bone down. Don't lift it up and breathe through. Finding our connection with the mat, connecting with the earth. And on your next exhale, slowly swing that left arm up and over, drop it down, smooth the spine out for one breath. Inhale, reach both arms up and overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Again, if you have your props, yoga blocks, your cans of food, your wine books you're not using right now, or your little pillows from your fist, go ahead and use them. Two more breaths. And on your next inhale, slowly walk the hands back up towards the body. Roll the shoulders back. I think we got that body nice and juicy. Roll the shoulders forward. And come over onto your tabletop. So in tabletop, you want to draw the navel in. Fingers are flat on the mat. Spread the fingers out. Feet are flat. Gaze is just forward on the mat as well. So we're actually going to curl the toes under here. We're going to lift the knees about three inches off the mat here. Hold in here, keep the navel drawn in, and let's hollow out the back. Draw the chin towards the chest. Use that Ujjayi breath to really monitor the flow of the breath, the heartbeat, and exhale, bring the knees down, flatten the feet, straighten out the back. Inhale as you exhale, extend that right arm, extend the left leg. Straighten yourself out, make sure those hips are even. And let's drop that left knee in, the left foot in towards the sit bone. When you can hold here, add some spice, draw that foot in with that right hand. Take the breath flowing. And exhale, extend back out. And drop both hands, drop to the knees. Hold here. Let's curl those toes under, lift the knees. Power out the back, left to the chest. Push off from the hands, spread those fingers. And exhale, drop the knees, drop into the back of the feet. Extend that left arm, extend the right leg. Spread those fingers, palms down. Even at those hips. Draw that right foot in towards the sit bone. You can dive it a little further in. Make sure that anchor is nice and strong and even still. And 
and extending both the arm and the leg once again. And drop the palm, drop the knee, come back on the system, drop the head. Inhale, come back to tabletop, curl the toes under, come up into your downward dog, slow and steady, bend at the knee, lift at the hips, drop the heels, let the head drop. Adjust as needed. You want to push off. Hands are flat. Spread the fingers. Elbows turn in. Navel drawn up. Really begin to feel a little more energy and space coming through the rib cages. Come up on your tippy toes, hollow off the back, roll the heart center up and over the fingertips. Come into your first plank, gaze forward, shoulder blades trying to roll down the back, navel drawn in. And very carefully, we're going to lift that left leg again. We want to make sure that our hips are even. We're going to bend at the knee, flex that foot and start lifting that left foot towards the ceiling. Keep the navel drawn in. And let's do little sips of air. Squeeze as you lift up. Five more breaths, you're doing great. Two and one, hold here. And let's roll over onto the side of our right foot. We're gonna roll over flat foot of the left. Lift the body up and twist over. Half wheel. I know you can do this now. Little smile can help. Lift those hips up. Keep the breath flowing. Open up this full body to the earth. Two more breaths. So we're going to come out of this careful and slow. Bring that left arm, start pushing off that right foot. Twist back and around, bring the breath with you. Twist back and come back to plank. Hold here, keep it strong. Draw the knees in and come back to child's pose. Beautiful job. Give yourself a little wiggle here. And let's roll out those beautiful strong wrists. And let's inhale, come back to tabletop. Awesome. Holes here, smooth out the spine. Let's take our hands, we're gonna flip them over, fingertips facing the knees. Roll the shoulders back, navel drawn in. Let's inhale as we rock slightly forward. Exhale, come back towards the sit bones. Little soft movement, just opening up the wrists and the hands. And exhale, release them back down. Come back to tabletop. Curl the toes under, lift those hips. 
Sky high, joining down the dog. Drop that head. Push off those hands, elbows turning in, navel drawing up. Engage those quads. And inhale as you come up on the tippy toe, collar up the back as you come up and over the fingertips. Join me back in plank, adjust as needed. So if this is a little too intense now for your, your wrist, you can actually use those little pillows. Make this with your uh, hands and you can come down like this. It's actually a nice little release. So you wanna lift gently with that right leg. Again, make sure those hips are even. We're gonna bend that knee, flex the foot, and start little bursts of air here. Keep the navel drawn in. Really use that power breath. Steam it up. Five more, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here. And we're gonna slowly start, if your hands were in the pillows, put them flat. We're gonna start twisting over onto the left side of the foot. Drop that right foot down and come all the way up, half heel. Lift those hips up. A smile definitely can help here. Make sure you're lifting your hips up. Three more breaths. One more deep breath in. And slowly come out of it. Swing that right arm as you slowly switch the body back towards the spine. Planting those balls of the feet down. Beautiful. Hold here. And exhale, lower the heart center down. Chaturanga, upward dog. Roll the shoulders back. Come back to downward dog. Beautiful. Let's walk the dog. Pedal it out. One knee in at a time. Reach the gaze up and under the opposite arm. Nice and Whoa. Come back to center. Inhale, reach the gaze forward. We're going to walk up on our tippy toes. Come up to the hands, forward fold. Feet are about hip distance apart. We're going to grab the opposite sides of our elbows. You can have a nice bend in the knees here. Resting the heart center on the thighs if you want. Let that head drop. Drop side to side. If you can, start to straighten the legs out. Let the hands slow down. Give that head a little nod. Say yes to what Mother Earth can offer that is good and healing. Ah, maybe a little sigh to relief. Let's maybe rock back and forth. Coming up on the balls of the feet, the heels of the feet. Really feeling the variations here. And ground yourself down, slight bend in the knees as you inhale. Reach those arms up and overhead, palms come together. Exhale, drop the hands down in front of the heart center, gaze upon the fingertips, shoulder blades reaching down the spine. 
And we're gonna ground, make sure you're grounding that left foot in, heel, ball of the foot. And let's just lift those little piggy toes. So you really feel the connection of that foot and what it can do. All right, so we're all there. You can drop those little piggies now. And we're just gonna start climbing our tree or becoming your favorite tree, however you wanna see this today. Seems appropriate since it is a beautiful Earth Day. So becoming a tree, you can either rest the bottom of your right foot on the outside of your left shin. You can come up on the inside of the left thigh, or you can rest it just here on the upper part of the left thigh. Your hands can be anywhere really that you'd like. The palms can be facing up. You can come into prayer. You can lift them up, palms out, open and receptive. They can come up to prayer here. You can honor your own edge wherever your tree would like to grow today. Just make sure that it is not on the knee at all. If you want, your little toes can just be resting on the mat as well. The most important things here are keeping the breath flowing with that ujjayi or ocean breath, drawing the pelvic floor upwards. So when I say that, it's like if you were zipping your pants up, a very tight pair of pants, kind of engaging that, feeling that rod connecting down to the middle of the earth, that left leg. So everybody find whatever tree pose you want to come into and honor that. Going for eight breaths. Smiling definitely helps. If you want to add that extra spice and intensity, close the eyes and see what Mother Earth can offer by way of balance. My cats really want to be involved in the yoga session today. Oh, Shanti, Shanti. Oh, Shanti, Shanti. Three more breaths. One more deep breath. And wherever your tree is, we're going to let those roots release. Shake them out. And let's plant on the other side of the body. Let's ground that right heel, the right ball of the foot. Let's keep those right piggies up for just a moment. Really feel that connection as you root down through the right side. Again, so while you're here, let's draw that pelvic floor upwards or zip your pants up. You can really feel everything engaged when you do that and start to climb or grow your beautiful tree in honor of Earth Day. Now one side will definitely be a lot different or a little different depending on the day, your mood, your body. A press, Ujjayi. Imagine that you've got that beautiful mirror in front of your face and you're trying to see the breath with just the nose. Hear that wind back in the back of the throat. Blend. Three more breaths. One more deep breath wherever you are. Let those roots release and shake them out. Beautiful. Inhale, reach your arms up and overhead. Back bend and exhale, forward fold. Halfway raise. 
Exhale, drop the hands down. You're gonna walk or jump the feet back. Come into plank. We're gonna come down to our forearms. Make sure your palms are still flat. Your arms are shoulders distance apart. Fingers are spread. Let's just gently take that right foot, cross it over the left ankle. And we're gonna roll over onto our right side. Inhale through the center and quickly to the left side. So you're staying on the ball of the left foot. Inhale through the center and exhale, twist to the left side. If this is a little too much, you can use both feet. Honor your edge. One more breath on each side. Come back to center and lift the hips sky high. Walk the toes in. Lift those hips up, draw the navel in, drop the head. And drop those knees down. Come back to child's pose for two breaths. Two. And come back to tabletop. We're going to place those palms down once again. Fingertips spread, hands flat. Let's curl the toes under, lift the hips. Walk yourself back to low plank. Draw the navel in, shoulder blades reaching back. If you can, try and bring that left ankle over the right and start switching back and forth. Breathing through the center and exhaling, dropping to one side. Again, if this is a little too much, just bring both feet down and drop to one side. Keep the hips high, back straight, navel engaged. One more breath on each side. And again, walk those toes in. Hips come up, navel draws in. Push off with the forearm. Drop that left knee, extend that right leg out behind you. Stretch the body out. Forehead comes down just above that left knee. Inhale as you lift the heart center up. Draw the hands on either side of that left knee. Heart center comes up. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, drop them back behind and clasp the hands right back then. Make sure you're not rolling off that right knee. Gaze up to the ceiling. On your next exhale, gently release, palms come down. Let's curl that back foot. Bring the left back to meet the right. Join me in time. Inhale as you exhale, come back to downward dog. Pedal the feet, walk the dog.
and come back to center. Inhale, reach the gaze forward as you draw that right knee between the thumbs. Soften that back knee. Draw that left foot back behind you. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Swing them back behind you. Clasp the hands. Draw the shoulder blades down. Slight back bend. Keep those palms connected. Two more breaths. And exhale, release those beautiful arms. Palms come down, drop that forehead in front of that right knee. Stretch those arms out in front of you. Give yourself a nice stretch. And inhale as you draw the palms back towards the knee. Inhale, lift the heart center up. Curl that left foot. Draw the right back to meet the left. Join me in plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Lower the heart center. Upward dog. Roll the shoulders back. Drop one knee at a time. Cobra, soften the back of the feet. But to lower the heart center down, baby cobra. So here you want to lift. I'll move this stuff out of the way. You want to keep the fingertips just on the mat. So you're not using the hands to lift yourself up. You're actually using the strength of your body. So just kind of let those fingertips rest here. Keep the back of the feet soft on the mat. Draw the navel in and lift the heart center up. And exhale, release. Inhale. And exhale, release. For five more breaths. Two more. One more breath. And exhale, come all the way down, drop the head, spread those wings out, palms facing down. Let that spine smooth out. Let's bring that left foot, point the toe towards the ceiling, and just twist over, tapping that floor behind you. Inhale through the center. And exhale, bring that right big toe towards the opposite side. Again, inhale through the center. Exhale, drop and point. Really slow movements here. Protect that lower back. One breath for each movement. Try and keep that forehead on the mat, palms facing down. One more breath on each side. And come back to center. Bring those arms out straight in front of you. Let's face the palms up. And take the palms down. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And exhale, release. Bring the hands back either side of the heart center. Lift the heart center up. Roll the shoulders back. Come back to tabletop. Hands are flat, fingers are spread on the mat. 
Moving out the spine. Again, let's inhale, extend that right arm out, extend that left leg. Even out the hips. Let's exhale, steam in, left knee, right elbow, hollow that back out. Power breath. Squeeze out those toxins from your intestines. Three more breaths. Last breath, we're gonna hold here. Really hollow that back, drop the chin, crunch it in. And drop that right palm. Let's try and bring that left foot out in front, flat knees down, honor your own edge, and let's start to wiggle that right foot back behind us. You can kind of wiggle around here, move back and forth. We're just gonna play with this motion. For those that wanna go into your full splits, go ahead. We're just going to start opening this up. For those that are consistently with me, we're going to start moving towards going into our split. I know that's very exciting for all of you. So what I would suggest is we're going to start using props like a pillow. If you do have a yoga block, just bring in those every Wednesday because that's when we're going to start practicing our split. So this is kind of where you're going to want to start being. Even if you're up here, that's fine. Just honor your own edge. Draw the navel in. Reach the gaze forward. Smile at yourself for trying. And very carefully, we're going to curl that back leg. Lift it up. Draw that left back to meet the right. Beautiful job. Come down to low plank, elbows in. And on your next exhale, downward dog. Great job, guys. Beautiful. On your next inhale, reach the gaze forward. Hollow out the back, drop both knees down, tabletop. Inhale, as you exhale, extend the left arm, extend the right leg. Square those hips off and scoot it out. Left elbow, right knee. more breath. Last breath. We're going to hold here. Really crunch it in. Hollow that back. Draw the navel in. You know what's coming next. You're going to exhale. Drop that left palm. Bring that right foot forward. Drop that foot flat. Gaze forward. So you can either start walking that right foot forward, drawing that left leg back. Try and come into your split, honor your edge. Ah, thank you, Mother Earth.
I'm actually surprised I can go lower on this side with this hip. Two more breaths. Just be grateful that you have the support you have here. And exhale, curl that back leg up. Carefully draw that right foot back. Meet the left, join me in plank. Beautiful. And exhale, come back to downward dog. Woo! On your next inhale, walk or jump the feet forward, reaching the fingertips. Come down on the heel, connect those big toes, let the ankles float a little further away. Let's make sure now that our knees are even. We don't want one going out in front of the other. We're gonna swing those arms up, come into chair. So your arms wanna be on either side of the ears, pinkies turning in towards one another, stay down. Draw the navel in, nice straight back, gaze upward. Let's use that beautiful ujjayi breath here. Doing great. Three more breaths. Two more. One more deep breath and palm thumb together and exhale, going down to the heart center, gaze upon the fingertips. Smooth the spine now. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, palm thumb together. Let's exhale as we slowly come down the chair. Remember those knees stay even. Let's stop here. We're going to turn to our left first. Twist, drop that right elbow just above the left knee. Let's bring those hands in front of the heart center. Use that power breath as we steam it out here. While you're here, just take a little peek. Make sure those knees are even. Three more breaths. One more breath. And as you inhale, slowly come back to center. Flatten the back as you gently forward fold. Drop the head. You can have a slight bend in your knees. Shake the head out. Let's lift one foot at a time, flip the hand, place them underneath the feet, try and connect the toes with the wrist, and press into the hands, draw the elbows in, roll the elbows towards one another. Pull up from the body, and the head drops down. And release one hand at a time. Inhale, bring the arms up and overhead. Do that spine out. Exhale, drop the hands down. Start to sink down. Keep those knees even. Hands in front of the heart center. Twist to your right. Drop that left elbow just above the right knee. Again, make sure your knees are even and aligned. Twist the gaze up and over the right shoulder. Steam out that breath.
Three more breaths. Two more. One more deep breath, feeling it out. And exhale, slowly twist back to front. Again, forward fold. Oh, big sigh as you release. Inhale, swing those beautiful wings up and overhead, back bend, and exhale, swan dive down. Halfway raise. Exhale, drop the palms down, walk or jump back to plank. Inhale, move through your vinyasa. Come back to downward dog. <sighs> Reach the gaze forward with your inhale. As you exhale, draw that left foot towards the right hand. You want to stay on the ball of that right foot, the left toe reaching towards the right hand. Navel drawn in. Beautiful. If you want to add that little bit of spice, extend that right arm sky high. Open up the heart center. Use that sound breath. H-A. Ah. If you want to add even more heat, you can start threading the needle. Bring that right arm underneath the left shoulder. Two more breaths. Wherever you are, carefully exhale as you draw that left back to meet the right. Exhale and come back to downward dog. Inhale, reach the gaze forward. Exhale, extend that right foot to the left hand. Again, draw the navel in, gaze forward. You can hold here. You can extend that left arm, open up the heart center. You can thread the needle. Two more breaths. And wherever you are, gently, carefully, exhale as you throw the right back to meet the left. Come back as you exhale into downward dog. Woo! Really stretch it out here. And inhale as you reach the gaze forward, walk or jump the feet through. Come to an easy seated posture. Yeah, roll the shoulders back and down through the spine. Hands resting gentle on the knees. Root those sit bones down if you want, peel away a little flesh. As you exhale, you're going to steam yourself down, trying to get that tailbone down to the mat, hollow out the back, chin comes to the chest. Inhale, extend the heart center up, arch the back. Exhale, steam it back. And inhale. And exhale, steam it out. more breaths. And 
come back to center, draw that right limb across the body, hold with the left. Make sure the shoulders don't try and follow, keep them square to the front. And now let's bring our ujjayi breath back, slowing down the heartbeat, bringing that nice, smooth flow and current. Let's inhale, extend those beautiful arms up, palms together, crossing at the wrist. Elongate the spine. And exhale, bring that left limb across the body. Inhale, extend the arms up. Lift the palms, opposite wrists. Bend that right arm 90 degrees. Walk those hands down the back. You can guide gently with that left hand. Don't force it. Keep that breath flowing. Extend the wings out and switch to the other side. And extend the arms out, palms come up, palms come down, palms face the back wall, little pulses back, palms face the forward, little pulses forward. And give yourself a big hug. Take a deep breath in and exhale, release, let the arms float down. Drop the head, chin to chest. Inhale, back to center. Gently, carefully, drop the head back, honor your own body. Nice, tall spine. Carefully come back to center through your breath. Inhale and exhale, drop to the right shoulder. Inhale through the center, exhale, drop to the right. Inhale back to center, reach those arms up and overhead. Once again, extend the arms out in front, sit bones still planted down. Perhaps you feel yourself extending a little further out. Give Mother Earth a big thank. And walk the hands back with your inhale, roll the shoulders back, bring the knees together, give yourself a little squeeze, rock side to side, point the toes. And let's rock and roll.
three more. And hold here, bring the shoulders back. Heart center naturally lifts. Point those toes. See if you can let go here. Palms facing upwards. Try and lift those legs 90 degrees. Draw the navel in. Now flex the feet. If you can, grab those big toes if you got them with your peace fingers. We're going to gently start to roll back. You can spread the legs out. Try and control as much as you can this movement with your core. So you want to try and connect one vertebrae at a time as you roll back. Have fun with it. And gently massage those kidneys. Give your lower back a little massage, rock side to side. Now little babies and kids get to make a ton of fun noises. Go ahead. Give those vibrations a chance to move throughout the face. Make some sound with your lips. Muscles in the face need their exercise too. And release, straighten those legs up. Try and touch them if you can too. Tickle the toes, draw the navel in. And release the hands down to your side. Let that smile curl up on the face once again. Close the eyes. And imagine a beautiful wind is blowing you down back to Mother Earth like a leaf blowing from the mountain top, floating, slowly, gracefully. A strong, beautiful breath, lowering you gently, carefully down to the earth until finally you find rest. You find your place and you release your body back to the earth. Your awareness, your attention is to the strength and support below your beautiful body. moment as you breathe in all the beautiful colors of the earth you offer great thanks and praise to the mother and to all the beautiful little beings including you 
that are breathing and giving hope and energy back as she recycles and makes new. And with your attention and awareness on this breath, flowing freely in through the nose, and coming back out, releasing. What does the universe need from you today? And what do you need from the universe? And what can you accomplish together? As you experience this feeling, this breath, and the support, begin to acknowledge that wherever you are today, take this moment to breathe deeply this air around you that enables you to experience know that you are amazing you are unique and you have the courage and capability and worthiness to help shift the consciousness of this planet with each thought and breath so let's start now roll gently over onto one side taking a deep sip of air through the nose and exhale that gratitude as we begin to shift the day together. Give your body a gentle hug. And give yourself thanks and praise for being part of this consciousness and this hope. In my gratitude today, I say, may you be happy, may you be well, may you be safe, and may you be at peace. And I ask that you join me now in an easy seated posture as we seal all of these intentions, our practice, and our hopes, as we give thanks to Mother Earth and ourselves with three resonating ohms as we join together Taking a deep breath in. Oh. 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 for our lives, families, jobs, friends. I ask that we are blessed in peace, harmony, bliss, joy, love, and light. Namaste. And thank you all for the patience today. I uh, definitely need a, a little more healing energy myself, um, but I appreciate all of the hope and, and the vibrancy. Um, today, this is a good one uh, that I feel is for, for a personal use. Magenta, connect to your deepest inner knowing. 
So I'm gonna definitely focus on this beautiful color of vibrancy to my own self today in my meditations and the rest of my journey. Have a wonderful uh, Earth Day. I hope that we can continue to experience and believe that every day should be an Earth Day. Um, have fun out there, be safe, and we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is 4 p.m. We will be doing a little connection with our strength training at 4 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Um, we'll meet you here and on Facebook Live. Cheers, everybody.